what's up beauties welcome back to my channel my name is Shamoya aka Miss Royal Diva if this is your first time here welcome to my channel and if you're returning thank you for coming back and watching and supporting your girl appreciate it today I am back with another natural hair video I'm just gonna be doing a flat twist I haven't done flat twist in a while now and I decided just to skip the shampoo deep conditioning part because I know you guys have seen me do it and I've seen other people wash their hair all the time. So first I'm going to go into moisturizing my hair and then going into styling with the flat twist. So I want to do flat twist using perm rods because I have not used a perm rod in a long time. So I wanted to try that. So if it doesn't come out good, uh, I hope it comes out good. Just to let you guys know, I did use all of Main Choice products today. So I started with their... Um, powerful shampoo it is their um black charcoal and black cumin shampoo from the do it for the fro collection and then i went into the magnis and then i used the magnificent miracle mask and this mask woo, you can see i'm already using a lot of it this is like my third time using it but yeah i wanted to keep it in one collection and i want to use the bold buttery gel for the twist out so i decided to use everything before we move on make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel that is how you know when i post new videos that way you never miss an upload and make sure you hit that notification bell that's right beside the subscribe button and that way you get notified that you're one of the first people to see my video when i post it so yeah we're gonna get into this video and yeah let's get started i'm just gonna remove my microfiber towel you can see my hair is really soft already it has some curls going on i haven't added any product to my hair yet so this is freshly washed and yeah it looks so good so i'm going to be using their leave-in conditioner and this is their accomplished triple layer leave-in and i think i used it before it's no minerals no petroleum no parabens lightweight Leaves your hair feeling soft and tangle free, moisture and shine, and it's good for daily use. Alright, so as you can see, it's getting dry. I don't like to, like, my hair dries really quick because I have low porosity. So, I always make sure I have my spray bottle so I can re-damp. As you guys see, I just um, spread some water on it, finger detangle just a little bit, and now I can go into the leave-in conditioner and this leave-in conditioner is also looking like charcoal look at that this is how it looks it's pretty lightweight like it just and I'm just gonna coat and massage that into my hair As you can see me just like pulling on it that's me trying to like stretch my curls as well as make sure that it's really like coated each strand so I like to take like another small piece and just run my hand and pull on it like that that feels pretty good everything is absorbed as you can see curls look at those curls <laughs> in the moisture I don't have an oil from main choice which is fine you can use whatever oil you like to use but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this um, Alike Naturals um, elixir and I'm just gonna seal that moisture in I'm just gonna speed up the process of me moisturizing and um, you guys can just watch that way I don't you know make this video too long
right so that is how I moisturize my hair every week it doesn't matter what products I use I always try to go in with a leave-in conditioner first and then my oil so basically I'm using the LOC method I've retired the LCO method <laughs> like most um, people recommend the LCO if you have low porosity and stuff like that but lately I've been sticking with just LOC like it works and that's what I'm gonna do all right so flat twist I like doing flat twist it's just a different like curl pattern different de um, definition I would say but I like it I just I'm not perfect at it so this video is gonna be beginner friendly if you're trying this out it's okay like I'm still a beginner I've done it a few times but yeah this is not gonna be a professional flat twist so this is gonna be my version my the way that I do it because yeah there's different ways to do it and people get better definition sometimes with the way they do it so all right so I'm gonna do one or two and then I'll turn around and kind of show you guys how I'm doing it you start with a tail comb you can use your fingers you can use a regular comb it doesn't matter I'm gonna be using this what I'm gonna do different than what I normally do is I'm not gonna do a straight part down I'm gonna do like a little zigzag zigzag um, what that is gonna do is I'm hoping that it will help me have more volume so this is what we're working with so I'm just making sure it's nice and smooth no tangles feels moisturized yeah so the gel I'm gonna use is the do it for the fro untouchable definition and unmatched volume it's their bold buttery gel it's infused with biotin vitamin A C D and E and it's pretty I can't really turn it because then it's gonna just leak out so we're not doing that it's pretty thick but light at the same time if I don't know how to better explain it so I'm going to take my section, I'm going to take a little bit of gel, and this gel goes a long way, so just going to use that, coat my fingers a little bit, and work that into it. First thing, of course, make sure it's smooth, and then I'm going to use my denim brush and brush through, and this kind of clumps my curls a little bit, that would be a good wash and go. This gel could be a pretty good wash and go. That is it. It is nice and smooth. And what I do is I start at the top. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. So for me, I section off a little piece at the top. I split that into two. And I, do, I don't know how to I hold it. Like two fingers on this side, two fingers on that side. And I'm going to do it that way start it off and then when you get to a point you just grab a little bit more from the bottom piece and continue doing the same thing so I don't know how to explain it <laughs> so you just grab and go and wrap over Okay, so when I'm done with that section of flat twist, I have this piece left. I'm just going to brush through it, make sure it's smooth, and do a regular two-strand twist on this. And as you twist, you want to keep making sure that the ends of it are smooth as you're going. So for the back, because my curls are so weird back here, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to brush this through, make sure it's smooth. I'm going to grab my perm rod, put it at the end, make sure that is smoothly wrapped on it. And then I'm just going to keep making sure it's smooth, wrap it. Okay. that's it that's all I'm gonna do that is one um, let me finish the back and then I'll try to turn around so you guys can see it
So this is what I have so far in the back. Um, not that many. I don't want to go too small. So we're going to move on to this section. I'm going to try to explain this a little better than I did before. So I section off what I'm going to work with. I'm going to apply the gel. Make sure it's really coated and stretched. I don't have to put too much of the gel because I don't want to have any type of flaking or anything. So once I put the gel on, I go in with my denim brush again. And this helps to distribute the product as well as um, clump some of the curls. So I'm ready to twist now and I'm going to start with two sections at the top. Just two sections. And you're just going to start twisting and I'm doing backwards. You can go forward towards my face. But because I'm lefty, backwards just feel easier. So I'm going to start twisting. And when you twist and move this piece over, you try to use this bottom finger to grab a little bit more from there. And you just keep going down until you reach the bottom of the section. As you can see, I'm done. So I'm going to start with my two strand twist. So then I go back to my brush and I make sure that section is smooth and straight. And I just follow up and do a regular two strand twist. And there you go. So now I take a flexi rod, whatever size you have, whatever you have, and I'm going to use it and wrap. I want to make sure that the ends of the hair that's at the base here is wrapped around it and as smooth as I can. And then I just kind of, I'm pulling and wrapping at the same time. And then when I get like two or three times of twisting it, of wrapping it, then I just grab the hair here and twist on the nap. And that is going to help this stay secure. Okay, there it goes. So it's not too tight. There's no tension or anything. And I want to keep, I could wrap it all the way up, but I want to keep some of my length. So I'm just going to like wrap it two, three, four times and let it go. So hopefully you guys saw what I did there because like I said, I don't know how to explain it. I know there's a technique and a way to do it, but this is just how I do it and this how it works and give me enough of what I need. I finished it off camera. Um, um, in terms of design, I don't really have like a preference. I'm trying to see how this is going to fall. I do not like a middle part, so I did most of them facing that way. So to get that side part going and then some. So you just kind of play around with it. You'll find a design that you like. But yeah. I'm going to go sit under the dryer for um, maybe 30 minutes or so. I want to make sure it gets really dry because I don't want to you know have a lot of frizz and when I'm separating and stuff so I'm gonna sit under the dryer and then I'll be back and we're gonna take it down and see what we're working with all right we back and we're about to take these down my hair is now dry it's been a couple hours I let it sit because I wanted to make sure it dries really well as you can see looking really good so we're gonna take these down and a little bit of oil to my hands cuz no frizz like where should I start <laughs> alright so we're gonna start here 
Guys, I'm hoping these come out looking okay. That's what that looks like. Ain't no turning back now. We're going to start at the back with my weird curls and see how these come out. Alright, so we're going to keep going because the back you guys can't see it anyway. So I'm going to speed up the back and get this done real quick. that is it I think I unraveled everything I'm gonna use my pick and just fluff it out a little bit like I said this is not a twist out so it's gonna look a little bit more different I do have a lot more frizz than I thought I would but it's okay I'll try to probably either rewrap that little piece before I go to bed that way but anyway we're gonna move on and I'm gonna use my pick and try to fluff this a little bit Alright guys, this is it. This is my, can't really shake it, but this is my um, flat twist and perm rod combination. Uh, let's say, I thought the gel was going to make it like crispy or you know what I mean, uh, cast, like have a heavy cast on it, but it doesn't. My hair feels super soft. It has some definition and it, even though it has a little bit of frizz, I actually kind of like the way it looks. So... And I didn't even lay my edges down or anything. So thank you guys for watching. I love the way this came out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. And until next time. Bye guys.